Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Granted. Now this video I wanted to, be, wanted to do for a while because I've already gone through the Black Ant Hill. I've already beat the assistant manager, but when I went through it, really had no clue what I was doing. So I want to give you guys an idea of what to do when you first encounter them. Um, this isn't going to be overboard. I don't have the salt morning star. We're not going in with a ton of salt weapons because he is weak to salt. We are going in with our ant club. It's level five tough um, because uh, he does resist mighty. So we didn't upgrade it to uh, past uh, tough. But let me just go ahead and see what we're going over here. So mutations. Um, we are using the ant club, but I'm not going to use barbarian because I still want to use the, the parry master if we can. Actually... No, we are going to use a uh, barbarian because we can't really use blade master or parry master. Um, we're going to throw on max health meat shield. So we're going to have barbarian, meat shield, buff lungs, coup de grass phase two, and then uh, we'll throw on the, the quickness too so we can move around and uh, avoid the ads. <coughs> Excuse me. I do have the black ant sword and the black ant shield, but we're not really using those. Those are just to get down here dealing with the ants. Um, you'll see these, the omelet we have. I'll go ahead and throw that on here just because I picked it up while we're in here, down here in the Black Ant Hill. But basically, we're just going to be using the Black Ant Club, or the Red Ant Club, rather. We have our spider armor here with the Hunter's Prowess set bonus. And also, we're going to increase our attack stamina. It is light armor, so if we do get hit, it's going to hurt a little bit. But that's why we have our um, fiber bandages as well as our smoothies here. So we've got a sticky fuzz on the rocks, so it's going to... It's going to heal us, and it's also going to give us the max health for a longer duration. And then we've got beefy human food, which is going to be used for healing and uh, increased damage resist. And then we also have a beefy green machine, again, mainly for the healing, but it's also going to provide us uh, hyper stamina. So that's basically what we have going in here. And um, it's not going to be the quickest fight, but it's going to be, I think, one of the most effective in ways of managing it. So if you haven't seen it before, you're going to need one of these blow up the glass here there's basically going to be three different phases to the fight so the first one is going to be the assistant manager and i believe a couple of tasties he's going to be launching out his electrical attacks which you can dodge relatively easily once you get him down to a certain amount of health uh phase two will start and that's when he's going to activate these pillars in there with lasers that go around in a circle now you can either duck under him or jump over him but basically the idea is we're just going to be moving like uh, clockwise around him while avoiding all the others and just try to get our hits on him as we can. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let me drink some juice real quick, fill that up. Let's go ahead and toss on our omelette. And then uh, we can go ahead and throw on a sticky fuzz on the rocks as well. I should, I'm gonna put these in here. And we'll throw the fiber bandages on there as well. All right, let's get to it. Obviously, the way to uh, spawn him to get him out here, you're going to come over to this control panel here, deploy management squad, and here he will come down. We've already got barbarian crocking. So, like I said, the way I do it, try to avoid the ads. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a fiber bandage on just to get that regeneration going. And you can see the ant club's doing a relatively decent amount of damage. So now the pillars are gonna be activated. Which are not too difficult to deal with. Did take a hit there. Gonna have the pillars going off again. Took a little bit of a hit there. Gonna go ahead and use some smoothies. Now these ones are a little pain in the butt. So you kind of just want to stay out of the way while these are going off because they will hit you. And 
Now we've got both of them going off. So just watch your health. Going off again, we're low on stamina. Took a big hit there. Use a couple of our beefy smoothies to heal up. Jump over it, get back at him. We've got lasers going again. Again, not too bad. You can take these guys out if you want, but they really don't get in the way. They're pretty weak. Low on stamina. Go ahead and use another smoothie. Taking a good hit to our armor here. One more. There we go. So not too bad. Um, using the light armor, obviously, if you are getting hit, which we got hit quite a bit there, you're going to be taking more damage. But if you just stay on them and avoid the uh, the lasers as best you can, you really shouldn't have a problem with them. So of course, after you beat him, you have the assistant manager key card, which you can activate this door. I'm gonna take you up into these rooms, and you're kind of on the balcony up here. Now this one's going to take you over to the left side where I believe you can get some raw science. Maybe. Nope, you got a chest. Just some random uh, rewards there. I don't think there's anything else in here. There's our black anthill, the dark descent burgle chip. Now we can we can return the uh, Dark Descent Burgle chip back to Burgle for our reward. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything extra special in here. And what this is going to do, it's going to provide you another way to uh, access the Black Ant Hill. Once you get up to the top here, it's going to that little door that's outside opening um, by the hose outside next to the house. Get some more rewards here. Nothing extra special. But then now you have a lot easier way to get into the uh, Black Ant Hill. So that's all we got for the assistant manager, guys. Hopefully that was helpful. Again, I didn't want to do it overboard. I don't want to say here's the best and easiest and fastest way, you know, by getting the Salt Morning Star and the Roly Poly Armor and everything like that. Just want to show you that it is possible early on without having all the extra stuff. Just get yourself a nice heavy club. Like I said, this is only level 5 tough for the Red Ant Club. And we are doing pretty good damage. The key is, obviously, again, just managing your stamina and managing your health. Um, I would have liked to get some Liquid Rage smoothies in here. But obviously, they weren't, uh, they weren't necessary. The health and the damage resist definitely help. And then, obviously, just having beefy smoothies to uh, regain your health a lot faster with larger amounts right off the bat <clears throat> excuse me is definitely helpful so that's all we got for this video guys thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe if you haven't already we're having a ton of fun over here we'd love for you to join us and we will see you guys in the next video stay original my friends later